Good day, everyone, and welcome back to our channel with new Abraham content. Simply sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Today's video will assist you in discovering something you can do for yourself on a daily basis to heal your power. If you're tripping over something every day, if you're tripping over it, if you're tripping over it, get it out of the way and stop tripping over it. Why trip over it every day? But there are some things that you just can't move out of your life experience, like the person who is responsible for the very existence of your physical beingness. Exactly. In other words, how wonderful is that? That he was part of the very avenue that brought you into this time space reality. So with that, foremost mm -hmm. come other expectations you gave me birth and then finish that sentence and then you've caused me pain for 40 years yeah 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 that feels that feels that feels really off but how about the you gave me birth you gave me birth I'm well, glad I can I'm go alive. back to that. I can go back to that. I have a tender feeling in my heart for that. So do a little bit of that here. Now. Well, I'm grateful that he gave me birth. Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm confused. It's all right. It's all right. Well, the reason that we're uh, dancing around this a little bit is because we want you to feel that first of all it's not uncommon to hold the people who are responsible for you being born here it's not uncommon to hold them responsible for how you feel now you are here it's just something that you can't control so that's where the wobble really started in other words, we said the other day that if you're standing in a place you don't like, you almost always want to explain how you got there. Mm -hmm. That anybody that's feeling regret about anything is not standing in a happy place. So we really want to ask you, because you started out talking about how wonderful things are mostly, except for just that one thing. Mm -hmm. But really, if things were wonderful, except for just that one thing, you would have enough wonderful momentum to carry you through just that one thing, unless it's something that you've been beating the drum of and feeling resentful for, for a long time. In other words, there are a lot of people that hold a lot of resentment a long time for their parents. That's why we always playfully say, we know you think it was your mother's fault, or you know, you, we know we, you think it was your father's fault, but the bottom line is. You are the only one who can control the way you feel. And it's time to let go of, of giving the responsibility to anyone else. So what we are getting at here is that we know for sure that the discord that you're feeling with your father is not about how he's treating you when you're talking on the phone today. It's not about that. It doesn't just start with this phone call. It's about this long time momentum that's been going on and it's, and it, and the two of you have a sort of standoff going because he can't do enough to change the way you feel now. That's the way he's looking at it. I, he's given up. Why even try? Why even try? I can't, I can't win that love back. It's too far gone. And what we would like you to show him is that it's not too far gone. It only takes one in a situation like this to tune in and begin flowing a little different and it's not going to be him so if it's going to happen it's got to be you sometimes people will say to us Abraham this is going on in this relationship and do you think I should leave and we will sometimes say yeah you're tripping over something that you don't need to trip over and maybe it's a good idea for you to take off but then we always say but if you're leaving that situation because it's unpleasant then you got to get out of town too because there are unpleasant things in town and now you got to get out of this state and out of this nation and off this planet. Now we don't know where to send you because in every place you go, there are unwanted things. 
and we know you've got to be saying yeah but some things are just more unwanted than others and some things have been more unwanted for a long time and that's the thing that this conversation will lead you to a, a clearing of if you allow it to is that it's the it's the practiced vibration that you've continued to practice right up to this point in other words even as we are visiting here you're still practicing the same vibration and that vibration says somebody else needs to be different in order for me to feel good it is the best conversation to help us discuss unconditional love that's happened so far on this voyage do you more often love your children or worry about them love them do you more often love yourself or hate yourself love myself do you more often love your father or hate your father he's the exception honestly yes yeah, I'm right down the middle I just couldn't well, he's said. the exception he's right. the exception and and that that's drives the problem you crazy because more than anything more than everything more than life itself because it is life itself you want to feel love and he won't be lovable and hasn't been for a really long time hasn't been for a really long time oh, we love your father and we love that he won't be lovable because he'll teach you unconditional love which will serve you better than everything else that you've ever learned ever 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 and that was your plan when you made the decision to come and he's keeping his promise but let all those issues go like he doesn't really care about us well he can't care about anybody he's disconnected he's got nothing to give so he's he's all spent he's all bled out he doesn't he doesn't have any of those energetic alignment resources to give you don't look for them from him you're looking for love in all the wrong places don't look for it from your parents don't look from it from your lovers don't look from it from any look from it from the place of its source look to the headwaters of source look to the headwaters of love and find love and once you've tapped into the headwaters and you're all filled up with it then love 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 even your father but don't ask your father to be the headwaters of love it was never his intention he was the seed that gave you life and that's a lot being unconditional in the desire rather than conditional talking about the love rather than the person to whom you will flow the love talking about the companionship rather than talking about the companion mm -hmm. talking about the state of being together rather than the person with whom you will be together mm -hmm. the word is the uncondition of it rather than the condition of it and the best way to describe the uncondition of something just for sake of this evolution of thought let's call the uncondition the feeling of it let's call the uncondition the emotion of it so the person is going to be the condition mm -hmm. but the uncondition of it is the feeling of the person the feeling so if you can begin to think about what it feels like to have that feeling of belonging that feeling of understood humor that feeling of satisfaction that feeling of exhilaration that feeling of now here's where it gets a little dicey that feeling of having someone to whom you can flow your love well now that's when it gets dicey because in the moment that you try to picture the one to whom you can flow the love and that picture hasn't filled in now you begin activating the resistance to it so it's that dance that you're doing finding the feeling of something mm -hmm. that's why we talk about this vortex version oh it's real your partner is real but it's a vibrational reality right now which means it's an unconditioned it's an unconditioned that you're going to turn into a thing it's a condition that you're going to turn into something but if you try too hard to turn it into the thing if you need the thing to be there before you allow yourself to have the feeling that's backwards you got to be able to find the feeling before you need the thing oh we just said that more clearly than ever before because almost everybody is saying give me the thing and then I'll have a feeling response to it that's very conditional life 
give me the thing give me a lot of money and then I'll feel prosperous and give me a place to live with no job and then I'll feel free <laughs> and then give me someone to love then I will feel love and we say it does not work that way you have to find the feeling we hope you enjoy our videos, which are more than just educational. They are also changing people's lives. So by sharing our videos, you are also helping to change lives. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.